everyone, Alan here. Going to do a little lesson on mindset from Bill Bryant Sr.'s Strictly Street Stuff. Good book, older book from Paladin Press. You know, I'm sharing some of these older books and some lessons from them, you know, to share some knowledge, help people out. So this is on mindset. And Bill says, when it comes to mindset, train yourself to adhere to the following principles. Number one is believe in yourself. If your opponent is bigger than you are, then you are faster and more agile. If he is more skillful, then you are more vicious. If he is younger, then you are more stable and experienced. Always believe you have an advantage. Isn't that so true for everything? You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe you're going to be successful. If you enter a battle believing you'll be defeated, you're going to be defeated. So you go in there with everything you have. You take the guy out. You survive. You go home to your family. So believe in yourself, great first principle. Bill goes on. Number two is mentally prepared to react with a fighting rage when attacked. Every time you feel pain, react with anger, not apathy. Every time you feel fear, react with anger. All of that high-minded crud about total control, mind of no mind, and so forth is just that, crud. Some true sociopaths are able to commit total mayhem and not even get their pulse rate up. They may be able to fight and not really feel any emotion to speak of. The rest of us are going to feel something. And if you intend to win, it had better be anger, even rage. You know, I sort of wrote about that in my first book, Hard Won Wisdom for Paladin Press. You know, it's a controlled anger. It's not a blind anger while you're just going in a blind rage where you're not thinking. But it's a controlled anger that you're angry that they're trying to take something from you or hurt you. And you use that to fuel yourself to stop them with whatever it takes. So I get where he's coming from. Now, I still am a martial artist as well, and, I, and I've trained for years and years, decades now, and I do believe with the training, we can control our mind, we can control our body with training, mind training, breath training, body training. However, I do think he's got a point that in a lot of times when you're in that battle, you're, you're going to use that rage, that anger to help see you through to the next you know, step, which the next step is winning. So you go home. And remember, sometimes that's not beating him. It's just creating enough pain to escape and get to safety. So don't confuse our goals. You know, if on the street, our goal is to get to safety and go home that night and keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. Bill goes on. Most good street fighters have the ability to turn on instant rage I use this mantra when I am jumping rope and at other times when I'm doing some mindless repetitive task. Anytime I attack or I or am attacked, I go into a fighting rage. My fear turns into my fighting rage. My pain turns into a fighting rage. Attack the joints, genitals, neck, and eyes. Use a weapon. Okay. Some good things to tell yourself if you have to win because in a street fight losing is dire circumstances tell yourself this over and over again and it will become a part of your mental makeup that will come roaring out when the fit hits the sham all right bill number three is always be aware of your surroundings Oh, you've heard that a time or two in some of my videos and lectures and writings. If you walk into a place and have that feeling that there is something wrong, don't shrug it off and go about your business. Get the heck out of there. Your subconscious is simply a lot smarter than you are when it comes to sensing danger. Do not be afraid to be inconvenienced. I talk about that a lot in my active shooter classes, that it might be inconvenient to do this or that, but boy, if it's for real situation, that inconvenience is going to save you. Listen to those gut feelings. Bill goes on, if you are in a verbal conflict with a possible attacker, 
never obey his commands, even if he is armed. He will try to move you to someplace else so he can do more damage without being interrupted. That's right. You never go with an attacker or an abductor. You fight right there and get free and get to safety. Every time you go into a place, catalog the exits, survey for usable weapons, and notice what the other occupants are doing. By place, I mean anywhere. A parking lot is a place. The walkway up to your home is a place. You get the picture. I am not trying to say always be in condition red with your hand on a Smith & Wesson. What I am saying is pay attention to everything that is going on around you. The time you spend in La La Land is the time you are most likely to get hurt. That's some good advice. And like I always say, when you're paying attention, you're going to see the good things too. It's not being paranoid, always looking for bad. It's paying attention to everything. So you see the good, you see the potential bad, you keep yourself safe. So that was just a little bit of a lesson on mindset, a couple principles by Bill Bryant Sr. in street, Strictly Street Stuff. Having trouble talking today, but I hope you got something out of the lesson. Take care, stay safe.